The trail ride was part of the footage for the 19 Kids and Counting pilot, which was initially called 16 Kids and Counting based on the number of Jim Bob and Michelle's kids at the time. According to Ginger, the scary equine encounter did not make it into the episode but did jumpstart a greater fear in her. Maybe they didn't use the footage because I was, like, traumatized, and they were trying to be nice, she speculated. Usually, that's good TV. Ginger and her family starred on TLC's 19 Kids between 2008 and 2015 before the show was cancelled amid her older brother Josh Duggar's molestation scandal. Josh, 36, admitted to forcibly touching several minor girls, including some of his sisters. Years later, TLC greenlit a Counting On spin-off about how the family was moving on from the scandal. Counting On was cancelled by the network in 2021 after Josh's child pornography trial. He was convicted on two counts of receiving and possessing the explicit images, receiving a sentence of 12 years in prison. Since Counting On ended, Ginger and Vuolo, 36, have been focused on raising their two daughters, Felicity, 6, and Evangeline, 3, out of the limelight. We talked about it for a while even before we had kids and whether or not we wanted them in the public eye, Ginger exclusively told us weekly in January 2023 and we decided just to keep them out of the public eye and let them choose what they want to do. So that's just been our decision. We will sometimes post pictures of the back of their heads or little videos and you can hear their little voices or whatever. But not showing their faces has been something that we're planning on sticking to. Ginger Duggar explains why she felt traumatized during family horseback ride in New Mexico. Ginger Duggar faced unexpected highs and lows of growing up on television, including a particularly traumatizing encounter at a dude ranch. We were in truth or consequences, New Mexico. This dude ranch was basically two and a half hours away from any time and even the closest town had, like, nothing, Duggar, 30, told husband Jeremy Vuolo in a Wednesday August 7, YouTube video. We drove and drove and drove and it felt like we were never going to get there. It's an out in the middle of nowhere dude ranch. Ginger and many of her siblings, she is one of Jim Bob Duggar and Michelle Duggar's 19 kids, were enthralled by the prospect of riding horses. We show up at this dude ranch and we're like, this is the best, we get to ride horses for however many days we were there, Ginger said. On one of the days they were taking us out on a trail ride and I got on a horse and they were like, this horse is super chill, it's kind of slow, but they failed to tell me one thing. According to Ginger, the ranchers neglected to mention that the horse hated water. We came up to this body of water, that, was like a wide creek, but the horse stood there for a second and then it jumped over the creek with me on its back and then it started bucking, she said. I was holding onto the horn and it shook me up quite a bit, so they took me off. Ginger Duggar opens up about harrowing experience during, 19 Kids and Counting, Filming. During a podcast episode with her husband, Jeremy Vuolo, Ginger shares a traumatizing experience she faced during the filming of her family's TLC show, involving an unpredictable horse. Ace Showbiz, Ginger Duggar Vuolo, a former star of the TLC series, 19 Kids and Counting, recently recounted a harrowing incident that occurred while filming the show's pilot. During a podcast episode with her husband, Jeremy Vuolo, Ginger recalled a horse riding excursion at a dude ranch when she was approximately 11 years old. She shared that while the horse was initially described as chill and slow, the ranchers neglected to inform Ginger of one crucial detail. It hated water. As they approached a creek, the horse abruptly jumped over it, sending Ginger bucking wildly on its back. She gripped the saddle horn tightly, fearing for her safety. The incident was so traumatizing that it fueled a fear of horses. Ginger believes the incident was captured by TLC cameras, although it may not have been included in the final cut of the episode due to her visibly shaken state. Usually that's good TV, she noted. Despite the incident, Ginger admitted that she felt a sense of empowerment after holding on tightly during the ordeal. She also expressed regret that she didn't request footage of the incident for personal use. In addition to the horse encounter, Ginger has also shared other challenging experiences from her childhood in a large family. She recalled instances where she and her siblings would hide their food in the bathroom out of fear that it would be stolen, and the difficulties of sharing only two bathrooms with 19 siblings. These experiences have shaped Ginger's parenting decisions. She and Jeremy have opted to keep their daughters, Felicity and Evangeline, out of the public eye to allow them to choose their own experiences and privacy. Ginger Duggar. We hid food in the bathroom because we feared we wouldn't have enough to eat. For the better part of a decade, 
I've been harping on evidence that showed America's most infamous baby makers, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, were also among America's most infamous unfit parents long before their oldest son, Josh, was exposed as a pervert. Back in 2015, Inquisitor revealed that when Josh molested his sisters and several other girls, the Duggars lived in a three-bed, two-bathhouse in Springdale, Arkansas. At the time, Jim Bob and Michelle were already up to 14 kids and counting. In September 2003, not long after Jim Bob and Michelle finally sent Josh away due to multiple cases of molesting girls, Andrea Cooper ran a story in Parents Magazine, originally slated to run in Ladies Home Journal, about the Duggars, diaried by yours truly here. Soon afterward, Discovery Health aired the first in a series of specials about the Duggars that proved to be the ancestor of 19 kids and counting. Both Cooper and Discovery saw that 16 people were crammed into a house designed for only a third that many, thus blatantly flouting the occupancy limits for that house. They also saw that Jim Bob was able to finance a run for the 2002 U.S. Senate nomination with enough money to buy a bigger house. In other words, Cooper and Discovery should have seen enough red flags and flashing red lights to realize that they shouldn't have been doing a story or a series about the Duggars. They should have been calling the police. It's led me to wonder, if they missed all of these red flags in plain sight, what would have been unearthed with even cursory vetting? Well, last week, the Duggars' sixth child and fourth daughter, Ginger Duggar Vuolo, added at least another red flag to that laundry list. She revealed that she and her siblings often hid food in the bathroom because they feared not getting enough to eat otherwise. According to In Touch Weekly, Ginger dropped this anecdote on the August 1st edition of the podcast she hosts with her husband, retired soccer player Jeremy Vuolo. So let's see if we've got this right. Jim Bob was able to plunk down $250,000 of his own money to challenge then-Senator Tim Hutchinson in the 2002 GOP primary. You mean to tell me that he was too cheap to make sure there was enough food in the house for everyone to get enough? It sure sounds like it, from what Vuolo is saying. That we even have to ask that question is nothing short of obscene. Ginger went on to reiterate something most of us who have followed the Duggars have known for some time. Going to the bathroom was a logistical nightmare for a long time before the Duggars moved to their mansion in Tonatown. With the water heater nowhere near adequate to handle such a large family, if you wanted to have a hot shower, you needed to be one of the first two or three in there. She noted this was particularly a problem in her younger years, because we only had two bathrooms in most of our rental homes. When I first saw this, I remembered how conservative Christian blogger and ardent Duggar fan Lori Alexander, better known as the transformed wife, reacted when Ginger first spoke out about her cultish upbringing last year ahead of the release of her book, Becoming Free Indeed. Alexander claimed that Ginger had effectively thrown her parents under the bus and put a blot on Christ's name by speaking out. Alexander may have sounded like a grandmother lecturing a wayward grandchild, but most of us know she is so far from the plot she needs a life preserver. It has been amply demonstrated, not just beyond reasonable doubt, but all doubt, that Jim Bob and Michelle threw their kids under the bus by abdicating their most basic duties as parents. And they did so long before they failed, utterly failed, to protect Ginger and her sisters under the bus by failing to protect them from Josh's depravity. They forced their first 16 kids to spend most of their childhoods in unsafe, unsanitary, and unlawful conditions. Ginger's latest anecdote only bolsters the evidence that she and her siblings were the ones thrown under the bus. Jim Bob and Michelle aren't the only ones who threw these kids under the bus. In a sane world, this would add to the long list of tough questions that everyone who was involved in introducing the Duggars to America would have to answer in short order. I've believed for a long time that a lot of heads need to roll for a complete failure to protect children. All the way up to Warner Brothers' discovery impresario David Zoslov, the man most responsible for making the Duggars a juggernaut. Had Zoslov, Cooper, and others done what they should have done, what they were legally required to do, Jim Bob and Michelle wouldn't be rolling in dough from their many appearances, they'd be in prison.